Listen, if it is your birthday today, happy, happy birthday. And we're going to have a shot on you, Apanti. I saw you brought me drinks, so maybe we should I'm cheers on them. Tradition. So to this morning, we have a blueberry mango and maca cultured coconut smoothie. That was a whole mouthful, my friend. I know, but it probably is going to taste super amazing. I haven't tried this one before. Oh, but I like the kind of this new ritual of like starting with like an immune booster or like a smoothie in the morning. Definitely. I think it's pretty cool. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and because it's got coconut, um, it uses coconut milk, mm. which is so delicious. That is so good. Mm. So cold. It makes it vegan because mm. it's coconut milk, not like normal dairy. Cheers. Wow, this is Cheers. really good. Happy birthday shot to everybody. Mm. But listen, first up on our menu for the day, something that can be enjoyed as maybe a starter or just a midday snack, charred corn ribs with a herby dressing. Now, Huli's fresh and crunchy, super sweet sweet corn has plump and juicy kernels packed with flavor. Now, what's more is that they aren't special at the moment in the Woolworths Daily Difference where you can get the quality you love for less than you think. Chef Clem. People are not, people were surprised this morning coming in. I feel like you lied to me. When I heard corn ribs, I was like, like where the meat at? Yeah. Where the meat at? And now, it's this. You're going to be that parent uh -huh. that's going to be like, oh, daddy made you this today. And then Why am I British when I become a parent? Like, <laughs> I feel like you'll be British when you, when you come a parent. Daddy made you this today. Then we come and then it's... They're going to be like... But I'm not disappointed though, no. because it actually looks very good. Okay, so the truth of the matter is, I was also, the first time I ever ordered, us got this was in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And the waiter explained it as, explained it as, it's ribs with corn. And I was like, okay, well that sounds amazing. Yeah. And then I got this. this. And then I tried it, and I, I, I was shocked at first, tried it and I was really impressed. There's no ribs involved in this. What you do is you take your corn. Keyword, there's no ribs. Do not try this at home if you're thinking that it's ribs, but it's But corn you ribs. have to try this because they are so impressive. I think the biggest part of eating corn on the cob is the, the theater element of like eating it off the cob. This is something completely different because you're actually cutting it into four. So it's like okay. a different, completely different way of eating it. So what I do is I start with the actual bottom end first. Mm -hmm. I like hold, hold that up then take my knife. See there, you went knife. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I'm doing this. Now I'm stuck in my head. Now I'm gonna be like British every time I start cooking. Okay, cool. So I've got the two, I've got the two halves. Yes. Then I'm gonna put the cut side down. Yes. Just like that. And then you're gonna cut through it again. It takes a little bit, you gotta like, Oh, you gotta have manpower. I actually I'm doing it wrong now. I'm not I, I'm, there we go. As soon as you cut through the bottom part, then it's easy. Then you just go like that. And then one more time. Bah! Listen. Another good thing about this is if you don't want to actually do this, you can actually go to Woolies and they actually sell corn riblets. Just like that. Just like that. The that convenience already. that we love for. But I like cutting through it. I like you're doing it yourself. It's pretty cool. Look, I just cut it wrong now. I'm supposed to cut to the bottom again and then it's easy and it actually just splits completely. Then what you do is you blanch these in some salted boiling water and it'll go super vibrantly yellow. Then... They're gonna for how like. long would you blanch it? I did this for about five minutes. You can totally see the difference between raw and Definitely. the cooked version. The they vibrant. also start to curl slightly, which is even more like a rib, because ribs have those like curly bones. Mm. So the, you really, it is so much fun to dig into this. So I've done this before on a braai. I've done this in the oven. I've even done this deep fried. Deep fried corn ribs. It's so good. Sounds so good. It's so good. But today we're gonna do it on the griddle pan. So what you're gonna do is just a little bit of oil if you want, you can hear them popping, mm -hmm. that's good. So then you pop it on the griddle pan and you're gonna see it's gonna start charring like that. And that's gonna add that smoky flavor to it. It is addictive. Once you start eating these, you don't stop. Okay, cool, but we're gonna make a nice dressing to go with it. For the dressing, I've got some herbs. And these are simply the herbs that we have in the studio today. So we've got some coriander, got some parsley, we've got some mint. And I love the fact when people like start combining soft herbs together, it just makes it so delicious. So we're gonna do that again today. So again, whatever, what do you have in your fridge right now at home, herb-wise? <laughs> Actually, I do. I have coriander. I okay. have. Is is wait? I'm gonna ask you silly. Is, no, please ask questions. Is cumin a what no, is cumin? No, cumin's not a, spice. a cumin's a spice. Oh, but I have that as well. Yes, so you can just you can do a beautiful cumin and coriander butter, and then like toss it in the butter. Oh wow! I didn't think of that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm so, gonna call you later. I'm gonna cool. call you later. Here we go. Make this. Herbs going in. Then I got a bit of chili. You can add chili. Ooh, like Want a bit of chili? Spicy. Yes, I love. I spicy. love chili. These are bird's eye chili, so they're a little hot. So I'm not going to add all of it. That's going in. And then what else do we have here? Ooh, to make it a little sweet, I've got some pepper du relish, which is also on promo pepper right now. Check your relish. daily difference. Yes. Pepper du relish. These are these little red peppers, mm -hmm. and they're only grown in South Africa. Local. It's Local lacquer. lacquer. There we go. So that's going to go in. That's going to make our sauce nice and sweet. And. I can hear those, I can smell charred corn. Charred corn from me is like one of the most amazing smells ever. 
Do you know what? This is actually taking me back to the days when you used to go to a night market and then yes. you buy the, the, the millies mm. um, on the side but from a street vendor and uh -huh. you just eat them on the side of the road. It was the best thing ever growing up. I remember it so well. So now this is obviously a whole different experience. It's funny really that you're saying that because I, you actually just made me remember that we actually went to night markets like back in the day. Yeah. And I forgot about that. And didn't you get a, yourself a corn in the cob? We used to go to, I think it was in that Goodwood area, they used to have the night carnival and like the food market. Mm -hmm. and I I'm remembering this, there used to be like this amazing like corn that they used to sell and oh wow. All these spices and you would just sit there and Jamie throwing back. Throwback, throwback Wednesday. Okay, oh, so what you're gonna charred, do yes. is get it get it more charred than that. I just wanna kind of show you where we're at right now. So then all I'm gonna do is imagine that's all my pile of corn and we're gonna dress it with our beautiful dressing. And I've got another secret, I keep feta discs in the freezer at home. I always keep feta in the freezer, so I can always grate it and get feta snow. Over it. This is also perfect for like Look the, at that feta that snow. meat-free uh, meat Monday yes. vibes. If we're doing a meat-free Wednesday. Doesn't that look amazing? And you have to freeze your feta in order to get it like this. Guys, freeze it. Freeze it. Keep it rock-hard in the freezer, and then you get feta snow when you grate it like this. And you don't stop. You don't it's stop. You don't stop. It's snowing. I'm on my head! Okay, How so good I is think that you're having too much fun. I think you did. Whoa, I even broke the thing! <laughs> we even broke it, but it's totally fine. This is what happens on live TV. It's not broken, it pops out. How good does that look? That looks so good. I think I'm going to take it home with me and then eat it later and pretend I'm at a night market. Okay, but can I have that one? Can you take that one? Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh no, I'm taking this. I love it. I think it's beautiful. There we go. And I'm definitely going to try my hands on this. Chef so get the corn deal. Two for 35 Rand, make this, take a picture, send it to us. We'll even maybe put it on TV. Just do it. Hashtag it's Instagrammable. Now also later on, we'll be making some falafel burgers later this morning. So these charred corn ribs can be the perfect, uh, you know, just pair for it. Yeah. We're gonna try this, but we'll see you a little later on.